So do you want today's true or false question? This one's a tad tricky. Can erectile dysfunction go away on its own? I'm Dr. Nazanin Mo'ali. I'm a clinical psychologist and host of Sexology Podcast. Figuring out people's sexual problems and helping them fix it, it's what I do for a living. And I love my job. When I was younger in this field, I truly believed that if you had erectile dysfunction, the only way to treat it is by working with a sex therapist. As I gained more experience and saw more clients, my view started to change. Actually, this all started the very interesting experience I had in my practice. I was working with this smart, intelligent, attractive young woman who was struggling with an eating disorder. She told me that she and her husband hadn't had sex for years. She was understandably unhappy because she felt that he always avoided sex with her. This was odd at first, given how physically attractive she was. But during one of our joint sessions that included the husband, we discovered the reason. He was attracted to her, but he had also been struggling with erectile dysfunction. That was the underlying reason he didn't have sex. Of course, because I was already his wife's therapist, it would not have been professionally appropriate for me to see him individually for his ED. So I gave him the name of a few of my best sex therapist colleagues. But he was insistent on figuring this out on his own. Honestly, I wasn't too confident. But a few months later, I learned from his wife that he was able to resolve the issue and she told me that they started having passionate sex for the first time in a decade. So I asked her, what changed? The answer blew me away. He was laid off from his work. At home, he decided to reevaluate his life and make key changes. So he, number one, changed his diet. Instead of eating greasy fast food, he started cooking at home. He stopped drinking alcohol. Before, because his work was so stressful, every night he was pouring himself a couple glasses of whiskey. But now he completely stopped. And the last change he did was he did a sleep study and received treatment for sleep apnea. So now he was able to get a good night's sleep and his quality of erection significantly improved. So what is the moral of the story? Nothing in life will change until you do. There are different ways to tackle your erectile dysfunction, but what is important is for you to take action today. Download our free checklist of 10 activities today to start your journey to changing your sexual health And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.